Hi everyone. So today we are talking about Q leaf, Q2, and standard leaf. How you recognise them? All right. So those are second hand. It's got the, the old bearings on, so we just kept the, the old gear on the top of it. It's been, it's been can be reused. So that's the reason why we got those cable ties. But so the main things is that this is a standard diff. Standard diff, as you see here, that's what it is. It's got the spider gear or satellite, whatever you want to call it, and that's a standard. And you will recognize on the car by taking the dry shaft off, seeing the shaft in the middle of it, right? This is a Q leaf one. So basically it's a torsion, right? It's a brand new one from a British company, Culis. Brand new. And inside, it's closed. So it doesn't have the hole all the way through. And this is a torsion gear, uh, death. And it's got these little gears, which you can see that way. And there are five of them. Okay. And this instead is the Q2 def. So inside of the hole is a straight through. Again, to recognize that, you take one drive shaft off, and there is a straight through hole. And on this side, you have multiple gears, and it's different. So this is a Q leaf, and that's a Q2. So that's the way you recognize them. All right. Just leave a comment down below if it does help. Uh, sorry for the aircraft. Because the airport sometimes cover our boys. Um, yeah, that's it. So I hope that I hope that helps at least to have a clear idea how to organize and uh, understand what diff you have in your car. So again, just to check on the car. Unfortunately, F is a V6. I would recommend to remove the short drive shaft on the driver on the passenger side, near side, or if it's a left hand side, of course, it's a driver's side, so left hand side of the car, the short drive shaft off. On a diesel, it's much easier to remove the other side because you've got three bolts and you just pull the shaft off. But unfortunately, yes, on a 147, there's a suspension off and everything. Instead, on a GTV, it's just a bolt joint and uh, the drive shaft off. On the on the pass on the uh, left side, sometimes could be a pain because there is um, a clip. It's unfortunately it's can expand too much into the diff. Sometimes you have to have two people, one with a pry bar with some tension on the shaft, another one just banging with a punch and a hammer on the other side just to get this bloody shaft out. But that's the way it is. So, okay, just give us a comment down below you happy with that and uh, just if that has helped just give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel have a nice day everyone